I know I say this a lot, clearly I just love my job, but I'm really excited for today's video. Today is going to be a full face of Kosas makeup, and the reason why I'm so excited about this is because I feel two very different things about a lot of Kosas makeup products. On one hand, there are products that I would be ready to marry, <laughs> Cloud Set Powder. Then there are other products from them that really just did not work for me. <laughs> <laughs> tinted face oil and then there are other products that I just haven't tried before and I really don't have any opinion on so there's a lot going on here a lot of mixed emotions and I'm excited to try everything out today put it all on my face and give you guys a full-on wear test as well so I hope that you guys are gonna enjoy let me know your thoughts on any of the Kosas products that you've tried I would love to hear your own reviews and hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy this full face and subscribe if you want to be part of the fam so without further ado Let's get started. Also, side note, I've been filming a lot of my new videos on my vlog camera just in a very like casual setting with natural light. And I would love to know if you guys like this or if you prefer my more studio-like setup. I mean, I always like to switch things up and I'm never gonna be doing just one thing, but I just wanna know your thoughts on this more like casual, natural light setup. Let me know in the comments as well. So the very first product that I'm gonna be putting on my face today is going to be the Kosas Tinted face oil. Now this is the one product that I tried from Kosas that I remember very well not liking. I actually thought that this would be a product that would be very much on my alley. I mean, this is a tinted face oil. I have very dry skin. Like the thought of a foundation oil just sounded really promising to me, but I remember trying this and just really not liking the way that it looked on my skin. I remember it being very, very oily and kind of accentuating texture on my face. The last time I tried this was like a year and a half ago, I think. So really anything that happened in my mind can definitely change, um, but I'm very interested to see what it's gonna be like. Okay, so it says that it is a clean, comfy makeup and active skincare blend that is made with six nourishing botanical oils to moisturize and even tone. So that's something that I actually notice quite often with a lot of Kosas products is that they do kind of merge skincare and makeup together. The, the other product that comes to mind is the concealer that they have. This is basically supposed to be like an eye cream and a concealer in one. So it does make sense with the brand that this would be not just, you know, a makeup product, but also supposed to actually nourish your skin with the oils that are in here. It also says that it is a weightless serum-like formula that provides sheer coverage and a natural velvety finish that still looks like your skin. It goes on super easy, no heavy feel, cakey look, or tricky application. Each of the 15 ingredients is doing something amazing for your skin to moisturize, soothe, and protect. I end up going with the shade 3.5 fingers crossed is gonna match me I did purchase this online so I'm gonna shake it up I think I'm gonna apply this with a sponge and just kind of see how it goes it may actually work best with fingers considering the type of formula that it is oh my god this color match though I think is gonna be pretty much perfect for me okay it's a very very liquidy and oily formula but I think we could have all assumed that let's just see what happens when I apply it to my face So, so far so good. I really like the way that applied. I also like, like it with the sponge. I feel like it really meshed with the skin super nicely and it does have some pretty good coverage too. It says that it's supposed to be sheer, but to me, this is almost like a light to medium. So, so far so good. I think I'm gonna try it on the other side with um, my fingers and just kind of see what happens there. I do not like the way this is applying with the fingers. I actually find as I'm blending it in, it's pilling which is super weird. I don't know if that's my dry skin that's literally flaking off or if that's the foundation. <laughs> I don't know, it's super weird. No, it's definitely the foundation. You see how it's kind of like picking up over here? I don't know if you guys are able to tell, but it's literally like flaking off of my skin because I'm rubbing it in. So that definitely does not work at all with the fingers. Do not like that. That is like a big no-no. So I'm instead just going to apply the rest of the product with the sponge. So far, it's looking exactly how I like a foundation to look. It really looks like it's sitting within the skin. It's not just sitting on top of it. It has a really nice glow to it, but I'm really interested to see how this is gonna wear for the entire day because I believe that's where I had some issues with the foundation where it kind of broke up throughout the day. So we'll see if that ends up happening, but so far it's actually applied a lot better than I remember. And that shade match is also perfect, so. Yay. So for my concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Revealer Concealer. This is what it looks like. So like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is essentially 
kind of like a concealer and eye cream in one. This is actually one of my personal favorite concealers, especially for day to day. I really love this because I find that it gives my under eyes a really pretty kind of hydrated, glowy finish. There's actually hyaluronic acid in here as well as peptides and caffeine that's supposed to hydrate and visibly plump and give a smooth radiant finish. I definitely do find that this does give a very, very smooth finish to the skin. I just find it to be overall a really flattering formula and just super hydrating. If you do have a drier under eye, this is a beautiful formula and it does also have a solid medium coverage. So it covers really well too. Just overall, this is just a really great concealer and definitely takes a spot and maybe my top five like favorite everyday concealers for sure, like without even hesitating. So yeah, this is a really great product and it's one that I already know that I love and I'm gonna be using the shade 3.5 today as well. So I'm just gonna put a little bit right underneath the eyes, wherever I normally conceal. The shade is actually a little bit too dark for me right now, but it'll be fine. And I'm gonna use my sponge and blend it out. This is my first time obviously using the foundation and the concealer together. And they do definitely blend or mesh really nicely together. So here's what the concealer looks like underneath the eyes. You see how it has this really nice kind of skincare like glow. That's what I really, really like about it. And it really does just give a nice smooth finish to the under eyes as well. It's really nice. So now it's time to talk about my powder child. <laughs> this is the product that really urged me to want to do a full face of Kosas because I was so impressed with this powder. And I mean, if you've been watching any of my recent videos, you know that I've been obsessed with this because I cannot shut up about this thing. Like I've been using it and talking about it nonstop. It has become truly my favorite powder that I've ever put on my face. I can very confidently say that now, now that I've had at least I don't even know about a month with this thing. So I'm gonna give you guys the same spiel that I always give you with this powder. So this is the Cloud Set Powder. What's really nice about this is that it's super sheer and it sets your face, but it literally disappears on the skin. Because it is so sheer in pigment and also sheer in texture, it's not a super powdery formula, it does not look like anything on the skin. And what kind of brings this powder to the next level, What why I personally love this so much, is it gives you that super lightweight finish, but it also smooths the skin truly like no other powder I've tried tried because typically the powders that smooth the skin are a lot heavier. They're not like the sheer powder types. They're more so the full coverage powder types that really give you that airbrush look. And on top of all of that, if you enjoy a glow on your skin and you don't really like a powder to completely mattify you, this does not mattify you. It keeps your glow. It basically keeps your skin just looking like skin, but it just sets it down and smooths it out. It's fantastic, really. And I use the shade Feathery. I will also say that you don't really need to stress out too much about the shade that you get because this is such a sheer product. If the shade is a little bit too dark or a little bit too light for your skin tone, it's going to work either way because it's not like a super pigmented product. So I personally go between Feathery and then I also have another color and I kind of forget <laughs> what what the name is, but I'll put it up here But I switch between the two and there's really not much difference between them all that being said I'm gonna take a little powder brush. This is my Katie Jane Hughes and spectrum number zero two brush and I'm going to use this to set My cheek area my under eyes basically my entire face Okay, moving on now, let's do the cheeks. Now I also noticed that they now have two different types of intensities with their blush formulas. They have the sheer kind and then they have the more high intensity kind. Now when I first tried their blush formula, they didn't have that, they just had that one kind and I don't know if it was even considered the more high intensity one or the sheer one. Now I have tried their cream blush formula in the past and I've kind of been a little bit on the fence on the formula, at least from when I when I tried it. But I found that it was kind of too wet and too emollient. It was like a very slippery formula. And some people may really like that type of formula. Some people may not. I'm not really one to love a very emollient formula. It works sometimes, but I also find it can be just a little bit annoying to work with as well because it can sometimes break down your foundation underneath and it just doesn't last very long on the cheeks at all. I do prefer a little bit more of a long lasting cream formula. So this is the color that I ended up picking up. This is called Tropic Equinox, and this is the high intensity version, like I said. So I, I did kind of think that this would be more of a, like a neutrally brownie blush shade, but it, it's looking like it would be more of a bronzer for my skin tone. I'm still gonna try and use it as a blush though, because I do wanna use the Cloud Set in the darker shade as a bronzer on its own today, just to really see what it's gonna look like. 
but I hope that it's gonna work. And this does also come with a highlighting shade in here as well. This is more of like a peachy golden shade. And I'm wondering if this is even gonna work for my skin tone. Whoa, you see what just happened? I just went in to go and swatch this and it literally like melted immediately as soon as I touched it. It's just like a very, very thick and creamy formula. So I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. Look at that. So that's the highlight shade blended out on the skin. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix the two together and use that as a blush. I think that could create a really nice kind of bronzy looking blush. So let's try it that way. It seems like the metallic shade is definitely way more um, melty than the bronzer shade over here. I'm actually going to use my sponge to apply this. I'm just going to dip directly into the compact. still not really doing much. That's so weird because when I swatch it with my finger, I feel like it's so intense, but with the sponge, it really just doesn't do much. Let me try with my finger, see what happens. Yeah, definitely gets more pigment going with the finger. I don't know guys, I, I actually like the way this color is looking, especially now that I'm building it up. I think it's really pretty. It's very uh, my alley right now. I'm, I've been really into these kind of bronzy blush shades lately, but I don't know how I feel about this formula. I kind of feel like it's a little bit sticky and obviously, as you can see, like not the easiest thing to work with. Probably my least favorite thing I've put on my face thus far. Now is the moment that I've been waiting for, using the cloud set in a deeper shade as my bronzer. Now Kosas does have actual bronzers and I have it and I really do actually like it. It's a little bit more of like, not a shimmery bronzer, but it does have a nice glow to it. It's super pretty, but I really wanted to try the cloud set in a deeper shade today. Since I love how much this powder sits on the skin, I just have a good feeling that this is going to be really beautiful as a bronzer too. So let's try it out. Um, I ended up going with the shade Softly, which looks like a good bronzer shade for me, although it may be a little bit too warm, but we'll see. Hopefully because it's such a sheer powder, it's not gonna to be too intense. I'm going in with my Spectrum and Canadian Hue 01 brush. Oh yeah, Ooh, it's a little bit warm. This may be better for me when I am a little bit more tan because this is such a sheer and kind of buildable powder. I feel like I'm able to buff it out so that it's not super intense, but it's applying beautifully. Even though the color isn't maybe perfect for my skin tone right now, I still feel like this is looking so natural and pretty on the skin. This is, this is good. I like this a lot. So next I'm gonna do some eye makeup. I'm so excited to try this because I actually have heard very little about this product, um, but I posted about this on my Instagram stories and a lot of you guys said that this is one of your favorite liquid shadows because it's so easy to use. So that got me very excited to try it. So this is the Kosas 10 second eyeshadow. And this is very interesting and very unlike any other um, liquid shadow that I've ever tried or even really ever seen. It's basically pigment that's suspended in oil. So it's a very oily formula. You can see it better in this shade over here, but it's literally just oily. So I can't even imagine how this is going to apply on the lids and if this is going to last if it is more of an oil-based formula. So I'm gonna go in with this lavender purple shade in the shade 333. It does say to shake well, so I'm gonna take a couple seconds just to really shake this up. I'm gonna apply it directly from the doe fit applicator onto my lid. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Interesting. It does feel very wet and kind of oily on application. I wonder if this is gonna set down. Okay, that's really pretty. I'm not going to go in with the brush. I'm actually just going to go in with my finger and kind of just like tap at the edge just to soften it a bit. This is such an interesting formula. I've truly never tried anything quite like this. That actually applied surprisingly quite evenly considering the type of formula that it was. Like I really expected that this eyeshadow would be a total disaster, but that actually looks really, really pretty. I, I love that. It's definitely gonna be really interesting to see if this is going to last well throughout the day. So far, I mean, on first application, it's looking really good, really smooth. I love the color pigment and all of that, but um, I wanna see if this is actually going to look good at the end of the day. We'll see, but so far, so good. So I'm gonna apply some mascara. This is the Kosas, the Big Clean Mascara. This is actually one of their worst reviewed 
products. A lot of people said that this gave them major raccoon eyes, so that does make me very nervous to apply this today. I really hope that it's not gonna give me major raccoon eyes, but we'll see. I did end up getting just a little sample size just in case I didn't like this. I didn't wanna waste my money and get a big one. So I'm just gonna apply a couple coats only to my upper lashes. I mean, I really hope that this isn't going to give me raccoon eyes because I actually really like the way this mascara made my lashes look. It made them look really feathery, which I really, really like. I did get it all over my lid, but what else is new? I'm gonna wait till that dries and then I'll have to scrape that off. But I actually really like the way that made my lashes look. Again, we're just gonna have to see how it wears. So next let's talk about their brand new brow products. I have here the clear gel the tinted brow gel, as well as the brow pencil. I just wanna start off by saying this is probably the coolest packaging that Kosas has in their entire collection. I really feel like they're elevating their packaging quite a bit. Listen, packaging isn't the end all be all, but it definitely doesn't hurt and cool packaging is just kind of like the cherry on top of a sundae, especially for a good product. I just wanna show you guys a close up. Look at the clear brow gel. It's like a holographic see-through component. It's so, beautiful i never thought i would love brow gel packaging as much as i do here it's just so pretty and then the tinted brow gels look like this the brow pencil is similar to the tinted brow gel but in a brow pencil format so let's first talk about the brow pencil now i think the more interesting things in this brow pencil is that there's actually castor oil within the brow pencil formula which is interesting i mean castor oil is supposed to be good for your brow hair is supposed to kind of make them stronger. I don't know how effective those ingredients would be in a pencil format because it's not like you're putting ca like literal castor oil through your brows. Now I have already tried the brow pencil and it works really nicely. It works kind of as you would want a brow pencil to work. And I find that it lasts really well. I found it really easy to create hair like strokes. I mean, the actual pencil tip itself is kind of one of those very, very small triangle tips. So it's really easy to create those hair like strokes to be very honest with you guys i find most brow pencils to kind of be the same same but different they land in one of two categories for me they're either just not good <laughs> or they're totally fine i think the most different thing about this brow product is the packaging the packaging is really beautiful and it, it works it's a good brow pencil but there's nothing else kind of like mind-blowing about it anyways i'm gonna apply it i'm actually going to be using the shade dark brown today they do have a lot of shades in the collection i will say that i gave my mom actually um a shade to try i gave her auburn and she texted me this morning and told me that it was mama page approved so she really likes it which is nice to know something that i will say though about this pencil is that it applies to the skin and applies to the hair I guess very smoothly and very easily it's not like a super stiff formula where you have to really like draw in your brows and really get in there to get any pigment like the pigment comes off really 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 easily like I said this lands in the category of brow pencils that are good so I'm just gonna lightly fill in my brows and I'm going to go in with the spoolie which is on the other side and just brush it out and it looks really, really nice. It definitely makes my brows look great. So there's two different brow gels that came out with. They came out with the tinted one and then the clear one. The tinted one is supposed to be a volumizing brow gel. And it says that it's a clean tinted mousse gel for airy feathery brows boosted by hair care actives that condition and support full brow health. So just like the brow pencil, there's also castor oil and vitamin B5 as well as, I'm not gonna be able to say this, biotinol, trip a pipe <laughs> so it's nice that this isn't just a brow gel that you do get some other benefits to it as well they also said that for the clear brow gel this has a lamination effect meaning it kind of gives your brows a really like defined pc look so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to try a tinted brow gel on one side and then the clear one on the other so you guys can see both okay so i'm going to use the shade dark brown on the left hand side this is what the spoolie looks like now like i said i have used this and I do really like this brow gel as well. Um, I find it works really nicely. It does give the brow hairs kind of a more defined appearance, which I really like, makes them look nice and fluffy. And it does hold them into place, but it doesn't make them feel crunchy. Um, and it does give a nice tint to it. I've used it 
in conjunction with the pencil and I've also used it on its own and I like and I like it both ways I find that it's one of those brow gels that you could totally use on its own and it's going to make your brows kind of look filled in because it is tinted and it kind of gives them that filled in appearance now let's go in with the clear one on the right hand side I almost feel like to get that lamination effect you kind of have to build up the brow gel in some ways like you have to go over it a couple times to really like get your brows looking nice and PC feathery flat against your face I don't know I would say though between the two I would go for the tinted one just because I feel like it does a little bit more the clear one is nice it's fine it works um, and it gives a nice effect to the brows but I feel like the the tinted one is is more worth it do you guys see a difference between the two brows this is the one with the clear and this is the tinted one so last but not least let's put on the kosas lip product this is the shade thrillist and it's a really pretty kind of orangey poppy red i actually bought this purposefully because i thought that it would look super pretty with the lavender eyes i love like an orangey red and lavender together it's just a really fun springy combination i also have tried the lip product before I don't remember how I feel about it, so this is kind of going to be like my first time. It has a really nice soft vanilla scent. Oh, she's pigmented. Okay. I thought this was going to be sheer, but nope. The lip product does feel really nice and very lightweight on the lips. The color is actually quite beautiful. Um, and yeah, it looks really good. As of right now, I have zero complaints. I think everything is looking really beautiful and i think all that we can do right now is just see how it wears throughout the day so i will keep you guys updated and i'll see you in a couple hours hi guys so i have quite a few updates for you with the makeup and what's going on with my face <laughs> here's what my makeup is looking like it's been about six and a half almost seven hours since i applied the makeup so starting off with obviously the most obvious thing, the lips. Um, I did take the lipstick off probably about an hour after applying it. I did find that it was lasting pretty well and I realized that after I took the lipstick off, it stained my lips pretty aggressively. Um, I really had to scrub at them and you could actually see that it's still stained right over here and it's been like hours. So that's something to note that it does definitely stain the lips after you take it off but overall the lip color was really pretty i really like the color i like the formula it was good definitely no complaints there the next thing i want to talk about is my mascara you could probably see it's literally everywhere it is transferring underneath my eyes it actually transferred a little bit on my lid over here um even though it made my lashes look really pretty the transferring is definitely an issue and that's that's consistent with the reviews that I was reading. So now let's talk the foundation. So this is what my skin is looking like about six and a half, seven hours later. Um, the biggest issue that I have with this foundation at the moment is around my mouth area. For some reason, it's actually separating around here. And I don't know really why, because on the rest of my face, it looks really totally fine. But besides the mouth area, the rest of my face is actually looking really nice, really fresh. It is wearing really well. I'm actually surprised. <laughs> I really thought that the foundation would be a bit of a disaster because that's what I remember it doing to my skin a year and a half ago, but turns out that's not really the case. I'm actually really looking forward to trying it out again. Then we have the eyeshadow. Now the eyeshadow is wearing okay. It's definitely not horrible. It's not like completely rubbing off my eye. Um, it doesn't feel oily or anything. It feels completely dry. There is a little bit of creasing going on on my lid in a couple different areas, but nothing too crazy. I'm also pretty impressed with how the eyeshadow wore. It's not like the most intense, vibrant purple shadow I've ever put on my eye, but I don't think that's the point of this type of eyeshadow look. Like this is supposed to be kind of like a, a quick, easy, sheer, just wash of color. It's not supposed to be like vibrant, intense in your face. For what it's supposed to be, I actually really like it and I'm looking forward to wearing this more and also even wearing the other shade that I didn't end up putting on my eyes today, which is more of like a champagne. Okay guys, so it's actually the next day. This was not something that I really planned to do, but I put the tinted face oil on my face again. And I also put on the other liquid eyeshadow from Kosas that I got, but I didn't get to put on yesterday in Globe. <sighs> And I did this all on Instagram live and we all concluded that this globe shade on my eyes is probably one of the nicest eyeshadows that's ever existed. <laughs> I'm actually a little bit upset that I did not put this eyeshadow on yesterday because I like this so much more than the lilac shade. Even though the, the purple shade was super, super pretty, this is just like everyday 
one color all over the lid dreams. You know what I mean? It's just so pretty. It's reflective. It's sparkly. It's that perfect like bronzy gold shade. I love the tone of it. I just know I'm going to be getting so much use out of this particular color. And then like I said, I dip the foundation on again today and I really love the way it's looking. So I don't know guys, safe to say my, my mind may have changed regarding the foundation. It at least looks like that's the direction it's going in. So yeah, I just wanted to come on here just to show you this eyeshadow because it's seriously just so beautiful. I had to, I had to. That's it, future Jamie out. <laughs> so guys, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing this full face tutorial and wear test of Kosas makeup. Let me know all of your thoughts down below on everything that I used today. What are your thoughts? Have you tried any of the products? Have they worked for you? Have they not worked for you? Just give me your reviews in the comments. Hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy today's video. And also let me know what other full face brand tutorials you guys would like to see most next. And subscribe, of course, if you would like to join the fam. And I'll see you guys in in the next one. Bye.